Hi, I'm Johnny from Classic Retrofit, and if you watched the last video, we would have introduced our Defender project. And we're doing a complete rework of the heating system and adding AC to the car. Last time we were installing our blower unit, and this time we're going to show you a little bit more of the development, and uh, we are entering the test phase. So the unit is now installed in the car. It's fitted up, it's wired up, albeit with um, some rather development looking harnesses here. Uh, we have the hot water uh, providing the heater matrix uh, with coolant, so this is getting hot. We have a servo controlled water valve here which can switch the heat feed off when the AC is on. Uh, we have a servo flap which controls our temperature blending and we have our ECU which is common to our other uh, projects like 911 but in this case it's slightly different software so this controls all the functions in the heating and AC system. We have down here the refrigerant lines plumbed up so these are the charge ports down here for, for charging filling it with gas and we have the compressor which is down there underneath the car. The point of this project is that um, Occasionally these cars did come with AC, but the AC was fitted under the dash and took up the uh, passenger footwell space. It was all a bit of an afterthought. So with this system, it's designed to be plug and play with the original heater box. And we're very pleased to say that everything's gone smoothly. It fits in perfectly, hood shuts, everything works as expected. So. Um, we're now going to look inside the car and show you what we've done there. So for us, the objective is always to produce a system that kind of looks factory and doesn't really shout that it's got AC. So what we've done here is a, a, a really subtle rework of, of the Defender dash. This, this panel in the middle here usually just contains um, a cigarette lighter and maybe a rear wiper switch, but this now has vents and these vents are adjustable and go up and down left and right um, these controls in the middle at the moment are a prototype this this will be all tidied up and have a kind of Land Rover design language to it so this will look really in keeping with the car we've also modified these footwell vents so that they are also can double as uh, air coming towards the passenger I think on, on most Land Rovers, they, they're directed hard at your feet, so you can't actually adjust that. So these are now adjustable. Um, but really, what you can't see is, is the important bit. Um, usually, in a, in a Land Rover like this, the air comes into this lower section of the dash and, and fills this whole area up. And, and the main issue with that with AC is if you were to put cold air in here, then you get a lot of con condensation forming on, on this panel. Remember, this, this is also the, the main firewall for the engine bay, so this is all getting heated up by the engine. So blowing cold onto hot surfaces produces condensation. So the main task of this is you know, how do we get around this problem? What you can't see is inside this dashboard area, we've produced a, a system of parts which divides the, the space into smaller compartments. So the air is coming into a compartment here that's sectioned off. And then we have a duct that brings the air up to these two center vents and another one that brings it right across to this side, to this footwell vent. Um, so that, that basically means that the only areas that are actually getting air are a section here, the vents, and a section here. So this should go some way to, to combat the condensation problem. We also have a foam, a set of foam parts which, which are laid into those compartments which insulate the, um, the compartment from, from any, any warmth. And this whole, whole area as well can be padded with insulation, but the key here is that when the original parts go back on, you actually can't tell that the dash has been modified at all. So it's a really nice, clean look. Um, but I know what everyone's thinking. Everyone's thinking, these vents are really small. They can't be any good. 
can they? Well, um, looks can be deceiving. So uh, let me switch this blower on here and uh, let's uh, have a look at what we've got. So, so we've got quite a lot of airflow here. Um, I mean, I'm getting 30 mile an hour readings out of this van and believe me I'm sitting in the seat here and I can direct this van at my face and get a really nice flow of air. So there's a bit of a problem here um, we don't seem to have a rear window and this is a, a, a bit of a drawback if you're trying to do air conditioning and cool a cabin down we're, we're basically trying to cool the whole world down so that's why we take the view blow the cold air at the people um, and hopefully you'll, you'll be, you'll be all right. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the first test of the AC. Uh, we've had this up and running for about a week now and um, just recording some uh, outlet temperatures here. So, We've got a, a sensor in this location and this is linked to this device here. So we've actually reached the magic zero degrees. So that is actually producing freezing air and then we're we'll full fan speed as well. Um, so if I put that in Fahrenheit, that's just above 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 0.4 degrees centigrade. So that's pretty nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little update. Uh, we'll be uh, producing a final video for this when we're nearer to production and then hopefully put it on sale. Um, follow us for updates on this and other projects. Remember, we've got Porsche stuff, Alpha stuff, all sorts of EV conversion things going on. And uh, like and subscribe to the channel.